Class is in session, the professor is in, and I'm recording without my kids being asleep, so that's always nice. I can talk at actually a normal volume. What's happening, y'all? I am going to take a look at actually defeating this first normal node uh, in the Fiesta Challenge Tour Week 1 with Farouk. As you can see, I've already won this match. Uh, it took a long time, but I'll get into that in just a second, uh, and I'll go over sort of how to play them, what to do to actually win, and what you're going uh, to need uh, in order to do it. Uh, I've already beaten with the contest. Well, that makes a difference. Now I need to get down to four. So I passed them, didn't I? I did. So, uh, a couple of things. Um, you're going to need some props in order to do this. At least I did at four star gold. And you're going to need a little bit of luck uh, as well. So, uh, I must have played this match at least 50 times, and I would say 35 to 40 of those 50 times, I did not have a red match on the board turn one, and that was a major problem, so I'd have to start all over again, uh, and it took uh, a good 15 minutes to win, and I'll attach that video at the end uh, so you can see that. So, first off, things that you're going to need, you're going to need some props. So, show of hearts, red up, so that way you get... Yeah, if you run, if the board goes dry, you can power up some reds. Uh, the choose one purple, uh, this one is really helpful, making a five match of purples, filling up your purple move. Uh, and the ultra seek and destroy one to break his sub if he actually gets the sub off on you. Uh, but also in case, again, the board runs dry or all the reds are scattered, you can use that to get your red gems. So let's take a look at Farouk and how uh, we ran him. Uh, I just have uh, a simple affiliation strap uh, on him uh, and just some gem damage in general, 15% um, move damage. None of this was actually really important to him winning. If you do have a flat, and I don't have, as you can see, his move ge uh, gem damage open, but if you can get a move uh, damage um, slot opened up with some red flat damage, that'll make it go quicker. It'll take a lot less turns than what I have here since you use the red move. Uh, but you can also use the purple flat de gem damage as well for the finisher. It's up to you, whatever you want to use. So this, these were the moves that I went with. Uh, I did the uh, Dominator 11 MP purple move. Finisher deal 20.9k damage. Choose two rows to destroy. Uh, the Thrust Spine Buster 8 MP red move. Deal 33k damage. Make five random gems into purple. And the one that you got to keep getting loaded up is the Snap Scoop Power Slam. Nine red MP. You're going to deal 25k damage, and you're going to choose two gems to make into trap gems. And it's actually going to be more than that based on his buffs uh, for the month. It's actually going to be eight gems into trap gems. And what's important is if your opponent breaks them, you're going to deal 6,700 damage, and you're going to force your opponent to skip their turn for one turn. One stun turn is absorbed by the current turn. Additional st stuns take effect at the end of the, of the current turn. So you want your opponent to break the trap gems, to stun themselves, build the stuns, stack them up as much as you can, and just keep working it that way. You do not want to break them yourselves because you will make three random purple gems into column break gems. And purple is one of the moves that he needs, or purple gems are, so you don't want to break purple as he might break them himself. Uh, and the entourage that I ran for this, uh, red moves start with more with Sting. Uh, I went with extra trap uh, with Jinder, and then I went gem damage uh, with my Santa Hogan, who is sadly still not up to the level that we need him to be, uh, and matching red gems because that trap gem move is worth 9 MP. Uh, I put uh, X-Pac on there so that every match at least gets me a little bit closer uh, to what I need. So as I said, uh, I did this match probably about 50 times. It took me several hours to finally get it right, so prepare to be frustrated. Uh, that's the number one uh, for this. Um, but if you're looking for a chance to get uh, some extra shards, um, this is one way, I guess, to do it. 
Um, I'll show you sort of what I did. Um, and oh, I also want to uh, give a shout out to Sweden Boss uh, in my faction uh, for giving me the uh, the secret, the keys to the car uh, in order to do this, how he uh, ran it for the tours. So if you are running, um, you would run this exactly the same way for the Trickster tours as well. This is how you would run Farouk uh, and you would actually be able to beat them um, that four star silver, uh, probably even four star bronze. So this is a, a move set in order to do it. The video, once I get to the actual match, you will see that uh, it is, um, I missed recording the first turn, so I apologize for starting it late. I had already had him stunned a little bit. He broke uh, a lot of trap gems, but uh, I'll go in and sort of explain how this is done, uh, and then it'll turn into some nice music, and you can watch the rest of how I actually defeat him. So let's get into the battle with him. I'll show you what I did with Farouk. All right, so let's see how this match progresses. Oh, I got lucky. Turn one, we're gonna make ourselves a red match. And then it's go time. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down these trap gems. My cat, what's up, William? Willie the cat is now in my face as I try to do this. Uh, what you want to try your best to avoid is putting trap gems in the top two rows. Uh, because that's where you're going to want to put your finisher when you destroy rows is up there. Now, the only difference to that is that I'm actually going to break these six right here. Um, and so there's a very good chance that he's going to break these ones. Uh, and maybe even these ones. And then I'm going to continue to put it on black gems or other red gems. And let's see. And then I can take my swipe. And we'll see what he does. Of course, doesn't take anything to help us. And so this was the frustrating part. Now I am one turn away from not only his bitter end, but German suplex. And so this is why you need these types of props where you can either uh, charge up by three, you can make purples uh, into, uh, into a five match. You can even seek and destroy. But once you get trap gems on the board, you need to pin him once you get the stun going. So you're gonna to wanna to try to do that. You want to try to use this move, the Thrust Spine Buster, as little as you can, um, especially if you have put trap gems on purple gems. Because if you break those purple gem traps, um, they are going to then go to other purple gem traps and turn them into column break gems. And our goal is to stun him as quickly and as efficiently uh, as possible. Um, and so I'll play um, the rest of the video so you can see how it works from here on out. Good luck to y'all. This one was a slog. It was definitely not easy. Uh, and the 300 shards uh, that you get for beating this, it might or might not be worth it. That depends uh, up to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and see what you think.